So this is facial biometrics. So the CBP uh, has a database with passport pictures. So um, we go through and verify our manifest for every flight today with passport data. This is no different than what we do today, but it's a database that uses facial recognition to do that. So the picture that comes in from the airline into CBP and it's matched against your passport photo or your visa photo or other travel photos um, that we have, if you're a U.S. citizen and that matches to a U.S. passport, that photo is deleted. There's no need for us to keep it at that point because we have the passport photo. If you're a foreign national, that photo goes over to a system called IDENT that's managed by DHS that has all of our foreign national photos and fingerprints and I believe that's retained for 75 years in that system. By selecting look, the camera is still not active at this point until you accept uh, the policy, uh, the privacy policy on Delta.com. Once you do, it activates the camera. It's thrilling that Atlanta Air, uh, Hartsfield Jackson has been selected to install uh, in partnership with Delta to have this technology at this airport, which is the world's busiest airport, which this will actually expedite the processing of the passengers. It is a historic moment for us in the airline industry because this is a, really the first fully biometric terminal. But I think if we look at this five years from now, it will be the norm, but today it's really groundbreaking so that instead of having to stop, show your passport multiple times if you're flying, typically three or four times, it will tomorrow be a frictionless experience. And that, that's historic.